Let's run through a quick checklist of the parts you need, just to double check that you're ready to go. Remove all the parts from the box. You should have an e-spring system, power adapter, diverter valve, and on top of the valve, a plastic fastening ring and a metal connector. In the hardware kit, you should have a threaded adapter, a universal adapter, and two tie straps. Finally, you should have two elbows, tubing, and two tubing supports, and a tubing removal tool. Be sure you're installing the eSpring water purifier onto a faucet that supplies cold water. Do not run hot water through the water purifier at any time. If your faucet has an aerator or wire screen, unscrew to remove it in the washer from the end of your sink tap. Then unscrew the plastic ring and metal connector from the top of the diverter. Set aside the plastic ring and diverter. There are four possible ways to complete installation of the diverter, depending on the shape of your tap. We'll go through all four here to make sure you're covered. If the threads on your tap are on the outside, slide the plastic ring over the metal connector and screw the connector and ring to the tap. Then use a coin to tighten. If your tap is too small, screw the threaded adapter to the metal connector and remove the rubber washer. Slide the plastic ring over the metal connector and screw the connector and ring to the tap. Then use a coin to tighten. If the threads are on the inside, screw the threaded adapter to the metal connector. Slide the plastic ring over the metal connector and screw the connector and ring to the tap. Then use a coin to tighten. If your tap doesn't have threads, then you'll need to install the universal adapter. Unthread the four screws until the ends meet the inner edge of the universal adapter. Turn the textured adapter collar two complete rotations clockwise so the collar fits loosely on the adapter. Press the universal adapter up to the end of the tap until it touches the inside bottom of the adapter. If the outer diameter of your tap is too large, unscrew the adapter collar and remove the plastic sleeve. Then screw the collar a half a turn to fit loosely. Center the adapter on the end of the tap. Hold and press the adapter against the end while using a screwdriver to evenly tighten the four screws on the side of the adapter. Once the adapter is secure, turn the collar counterclockwise until tight. Slide the plastic ring over the metal connector and screw the connector and ring to the tap. Then use a coin to tighten. Regardless of which adapter you used, press the diverter up to the tap and screw the plastic ring onto the diverter. The next step is to attach tubes to the diverter. To do this, unscrew the textured nuts from the diverter. With the threads inside the nuts facing away from the tube, push the large nut onto the large tube and the small nut onto the small tube. Simple, right? Firmly push the large tube onto the large or inside barb and the small tube onto the small or outside barb. Then hand tighten the nuts. If you'd like, use the tight straps to secure the tubing to the sink tab. There, you've got one side of the tubes connected and ready to go. Now, onto the other side. Place the unit where you'd like it on the counter, where it's close enough for the tubes to stretch from the tap to the unit and the power adapter from the unit can plug into an outlet. Now take the cover off of the unit. Then remove the clear electronic module and set aside. Not too far though, because you'll need them later. If the tubes are too long, you may use a sharp knife to shorten them by cutting the tubes at the same length where the tubes are not bonded together. The easiest way to find this spot is by gently pulling the tubes apart to find where they separate. Be sure to cut a very straight line so the ends of the tubes are flat. Okay, if you've avoided using your owner's manual up until this point, you have to break your record here. You'll need to find the tubing template in the manual. Then, lay the large and small tube on the diagram and use a pen to mark a line across each tube at the arrows. Then, push the two tubing inserts into their respective tubes. 
Insert the large and small elbow into their respective locations on the unit. You'll feel resistance, but keep inserting it until you meet the line or it's hidden from view. Now simply insert each tube into the proper elbows. Again, you'll feel resistance, but keep inserting until you meet the line or it's hidden from view. The water will flow from the diverter according to the position on the handle on the diverter. The first icon position produces a shower of untreated water. The second icon position produces a straight stream of untreated water. The third icon position produces a straight stream of e-spring treated water. Now you're ready for water to flow through the unit. Turn on the cold water tap and switch the handle to the treated water position. Allow a few moments for the water to flow from the tap. At first, the water may have air pockets and look dark, but don't worry, your water will be clear and clean in 5 to 15 minutes. Check all of the places where the tubes and elbows are connected to make sure there's no water leaking or bubbling. If there are leaks, refer to the troubleshooting section of your manual. Switch the diverter handle to the untreated water position, then immediately turn off the cold water tab. This is the correct way to turn off the valve every time you use the unit. Okay, we're almost done. There are just a few remaining steps, but these are the easiest ones. Connect the power adapter into the electronics and then replace the electronics onto the unit. Press the cord into the notch on the base and set the tubes into the proper locations. Then store the removal tool for future use. Replace the cover. Now you're ready to plug in the power adapter. Remember, this unit is required to be plugged in continuously. Wait for the monitor to beep. This may take up to 30 seconds. Turn on the cold water tap and switch the handle to the treated water position. Make sure the cup on the display is blue. Water will flow from the tap into the eSpring water purifier, then into your glass. The eSpring water purifier is going to take care of you, but it needs some of your attention too. Always monitor the UV carbon cartridge life. The unit will signal you when it's time to order a new cartridge, and then again when it's time to replace it. The last bar will start flashing and beep once when treated water flows, letting you know that you have less than 10% of cartridge life remaining. This should leave you plenty of time to order a new cartridge. When it's time to replace the cartridge, the Replace Cartridge text will appear in red. The cartridge light will be flashing, and when treated water flows, the unit will beep continuously. Every two years, you'll need to replace your diverter and tubing. But don't worry, that won't be for quite a while. So for now, just enjoy drinking plenty of eSpring water. Congratulations, you did it! eSpring will now deliver clean water to your home that will help you and your family get the most out of life. Now reward yourself for a job well done. You deserve a glass right now.